This week on The Choice. Guess what? We're still overseas at Lethen Valley and we are having a blast. The Got roar on indoor is on. It is on. We have Hoppy and Susan down there with yep. us. Again, with this heat and these temperatures increasing, you know what they're going to do. Man, they, they want to be by that water. They want to be by that thick cover. And knowing where they had a string of wallows, and then we slowly meandered trying to get to where we felt, you know, was the spot to be. Oh, big. Yep, look at him. What do you say? What a hunt. That was unbelievable. This is a beautiful bear. Hey, this week, guess what? We're still overseas at Lethen Valley, and we are having a blast. We are. You know what? Like Again, I said, blast. Blast. Yeah, blast. it was the inflection of your tone. Really, that we was had amazing. A... We're in New Zealand. We're hunting stags. I the shot mine The roar last... on Ingor is on. It is on. We have Hoppy and Susan down there yep. with us, and we have a lot to share with you this week, so let's just get going. So zip it. Zip it. And deliver it. And deliver it. Good shot at him. Oh, <laughs> he was a monster, but he's the first people. Pretty damn big to me. Oh, when I was hoping he would just drop down right there. I was going to have a 20 yard shot at him when he was coming down to begin with, but we're stuck right here in the open. They must have laid up the last two days because we haven't seen this many. It's after a good rain in there. Yeah. Because you have seen a real nice moon. It's quite often like this. Yeah.
There's a whole bunch of sheep down there. That he's oh, is there sheep in there? Wind's good. Alright guys, we're we're set up. We've seen this big stag. He's working in and out of these sheep up here. We've got a cross fence, sheep fence right here beside us. I see it comes up in corners. Step on, circled around to go see if he can get a better look at him. Kind of hoping he may bump him. And if he does, we're hoping he comes up this fence line. He may try to jump the fence right here or work his way right up. close yet so far now we're gonna have to fix some fence I see the corner post is broke off I, when I drew I spooked him <laughs> we were out here on the top of one of these open knobs spotting and we spotted about four or five bulls that have bedded down or stags I keep calling them bulls because I think they're like they're just like elk so anyway we spotted a few bedded down out here and uh, the airplane started flying over here, putting out fertilizer and got a couple of them up. So now we're gonna to have to go back and find a couple more. But uh, that was close. He was just, I'm not gonna shoot at him moving that fast. All right. All right, let's go look for another one. We decided to drop over this knob a little bit more. And as we did, the grass was up, you know, about knee high and the breeze is blowing and under these scrub bushes, we saw antlers sticking up and decided to put a stalk in on it. The wind was steady, it was in our favor. We crawled, we crawled right up on this, this big stag and uh, he was bedded down behind some scrubs there. He was facing downhill and we moved right in on him for 30 to 35 yards and kind of getting in position to get set. We're trying to judge the size of him. This big stag is barely got his head behind some brush that is in between us and him. And we slide down into position. We stalk, it takes us about 30 to 35 minutes, you know, just moving like one foot at a time. And then you know, as he would let out a roar, we would move quick because of the noise. You know, he's making noise so we can make a little more. And we get down into position and all of a sudden he just stands up. Like, I know something's wrong. He stands up and looks at us. I'm at full draw. He spins around sideways to kind of get a better look at us. We're just watching this guy right now. Looks like I made a good lick on him. I had no idea I'd be shooting at one this big though. This is a big stack. Sure glad I got to meet Rage and Holly from Lethan Valley and now Stefan. <laughs> it's incredible. Here's my arrow right here. Lots of blood on it. Oh my word. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh my gosh, this is incredible, guys. I'm in, in uh, where the heck am I? <laughs> New Zealand with Lethan Valley. Oh man, Rach and Ollie, Burke, Lethan Valley. This has been quite the experience. You would not believe the, the red deer they have here and the stags are just magnificent. Just giants. This is incredible. And uh, I, I just never dreamed I'd ever shoot one, a stag with, I mean, look at the mass. I can't even get my hands around 
the antlers and down here just incredible incredible unbelievable now i'm going to go get to see a little more of new zealand got the big stag oh incredible incredible that's so cool we had a lot of fun that's awesome we was in stags all day you know, this Look at we're, that at, we're looking at one or messing with them all day. I'll wait an hour or two. This is what it's about. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that insane? Thank you. That's so cool. I I truly don't know. Seriously. Look at these hands. I don't know if I know anyone that has taken more selfies in the field than this one. She's laying there going. Okay. Brown pepper down there. Pretty funny. You're welcome. Oh, I can't wait to push that. No, no, no. Do it, do it. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. That's like congrats again. That's awesome. Congrats. Congrats. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Again, with this heat and these temperatures increasing, you know what they're going to do. Man, they, they want to be by that water. They want to be by that thick cover. And knowing where they had a string of wallows, Three ditches came into this, created this little bit of a triangle. On the point of that triangle is not only a tank, a water tank, but it had a string of wallows in there. So we came down, as we started to make our approach to where we thought we needed to be, we were about 125 yards, I think, off of where we needed, we thought we needed to go. So we gave it some time, and then we slowly meandered, trying to get to where we felt, you know, was the spot to be. See, it's every step. Look at it, right? I got it. I, you can see it. Like it's it's running down his leg. I got it here, and then it's running. It ain't perfect. That's for damn sure. I'm gonna head back. What we'll do is we're gonna we'll call Rach and, and Vic and just see. I don't want to keep. I don't want to push him. I don't know what they're going to do if he's if he's hurting. If it's inside him, he's going to be bleeding. He's going to want to at least stay by the water. Go back and call her. Um, what do you? Should we, like, I, I should, listen. Do you think he's down, or should we come back? We'll just we'll give We him have call. nothing. Okay. We don't have any predators. Right, what are we going right. to lose? So, yeah. Right. You be right, mate. Yeah. Yeah, no worries. No worries. Yeah, we will. This morning we all split up. We didn't have cameramen over our shoulders or anything. We, we spotted him. He was bedded down. Got up. I got another shot into him. And there he lays. Oh, man, I'm going to tell you, if you've any, ever you've been on that evening where you get no sleep, this was one of them, but check out this magnificent animal. Oh my gosh. And you could see he just went down. 
My gosh. You think the big guy upstairs. Here he is. <laughs> yes, she's Yay! crazy. This woman is crazy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> oh, this is why we hunt with Lethan Valley. Woo! One of the reasons. And here comes Vicky now, too. Congratulations, honey. I'm scared Hoppy comes doing this. <laughs> That's awesome, honey. <sighs> so, <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, Lethan Valley, this is like it, huh? <laughs> I mean, you know, where, where can you go away from home and get bone like that? Look at that. I mean, that's just Beautiful. crazy. And to have a great experience, great adventure, good people. <sighs> We're, uh... That's good. <laughs> Woohoo! You got them early, too. Happy and, mm -hmm. uh, happy and a little sad, uh, you know, but, but it all worked out at the end. You know, and, and, and I know he, had a, he didn't have a good night, nor did I, <laughs> but uh, thank you, thank you. This is what's necessary. You have to do these things. I keep telling myself that. It's, it's something that you How often do you go to the museum and you actually have an extra day to actually see the site? That's why they take have it Google. all in. Google. <laughs> That was pretty cool, you and I. Really? Because I couldn't deliver it and keep it unzipped. Hello? <laughs> hey, congratulations on your Thank stag. You. Hop, congrats on your stag. And we had a lot of fun sightseeing. Oh didn't my we? gosh, we had a blast. You know we what did. I mean? You had fun sightseeing? He just said he had fun sightseeing. He did. We have it on film. It's recorded. From now on, we're going to do more sightseeing. But seriously, Rach, Ali, everyone there at Lethan Valley, thank you guys so much for having us over there again. And I mean, we've just had so much fun. Absolutely. Memories were made, and I mean, that's what it's about. Yeah, it was great. Did you like the sightseeing? No, I guess not. But seriously, congratulations on your Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Hop, way to go, buddy. Yeah. You, you experienced the roar and gore. And Susan, thanks for doing some sightseeing with me as well. <laughs> 
We'll see. We hope you enjoyed this week's show. We'll see you next week. Right Thanks here. Thanks for making your, your choice. choice. The choice.